Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 11th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes and world weather. Quick look here at the last 48 hours on our sun, 193 angstroms. We did have yet another X-class solar flare last night. So into the 11th, late overnight, during this class 5 geomagnetic storm which was amazing and was seen all the way far down south as Alabama parts of Arizona Norway Finland Australia northern hemisphere southern hemisphere amazing photos and thank you to everyone who shared on my Facebook page space weather events please if you're on Facebook just check it out Everyone was sharing their amazing and stunning photos. Thank you so much for taking the time to share them with the world. New group that I just created yesterday, almost 600 followers already. Let's see if we can get everybody that is on Facebook onto the Space Weather Events group. This is the last 48 hours. Coronal hole in the Northern Hemisphere. Most recent X-Class solar flare, Earth-facing. And you know how we know that it's Earth facing it? Well, this sunspot, we can see it, and it is now bursting with energy and has been on a chain reaction of events with the Northern Hemisphere sunspot region. As I noted in this past week, the region that has produced all of these solar flare activities is eerily similar to the Carrington event sunspot region from 1859 which was the largest recorded space weather event ever but this most recent one potentially could be the most class 5 geomagnetic storm overnight last night northern lights and auroras seen everywhere and this is our most recent earth facing solar flare event from the x flare we also have Venus coming into view on the right and quite possibly Mars on the left. And then watch for this most recent CME and all of that cosmic energy coming right into our satellite systems. Current space weather conditions. We are under R3. Strong radio blackout impacts expected. High frequency radios and as well solar radiation Level 2 and Class 5, which is extreme geomagnetic storm impacts. And that's been going on all day long today and throughout the, light, the night last night. We are expected the same thing for tonight and as well tomorrow into Mother's Day. One of the greatest Mother's Day solar storms of all times, bringing in solar winds of 881 kilometers per second right now. That's right, and they topped out at about 990 kilometers per second a few hours ago. There is the most recent X-Class solar flare. So minor X-Class solar proton flux is arising. And look at this planetary K index. This is our KP index showing how strong this geomagnetic storm is. So it hopped up to a level 9 overnight and stayed that way for about six hours straight overnight and then the next wave came in multiple cmes having a look here at our solar winds showing the wind speeds our planet there is the center of all of this and then same thing looking at our magnetosphere this is showing the pressure on our planet the pressure planes Boom, massive bow shocks. Latest space weather prediction spiral here. Look at all these CMEs coming our way. There's about seven of them. Coronal mass ejections from the multiple solar flares that we've seen the last three days. Documented here with daily events worldwide. Showing you the most recent space weather events as we go through an extreme geomagnetic storm together. Just look at this spiral. So the little green circle on the right-hand side of all this is our planet. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight CMEs, all in an Earth-directed fashion. Now look at this energy coming in for Mother's Day tomorrow. The strongest of the energies will be then. Right there. So expect Mother's Day, solar winds to pick up, and watch for earthquakes to be widespread and increasing over the next 36 hours. Right now, the numbers are a little bit low, but that's what kind of happens. We're kind of getting squeezed right now. And then when we get squeezed, the pressure releases, and then everything will start rumbling, and you will see. Having a look at the current ISWA space prediction spiral, showing next space weather event up until tonight. So, heads up, having a look here at the DRAP absorption map showing the cosmic ray affected regions. Where potentially through these regions, the UV index was at an extreme high ultraviolet. Level 14 UV index, KP index of 9, solar influx of 225. And look at this. Long duration solar flare. This has been going on now for three days. It's electrifying. And then it was amazing. I was able to see just a small glimpse of the northern lights last night here in Ontario. That's how far down south it went. But it will be doing the same tonight. So heads up, eyes to the skies, looking at tonight and tomorrow's forecast for auroras as far south as South Dakota and Southern Ontario and tomorrow as far south as Northern Ontario. And again, please check out the Space Weather Events uh, Facebook group. Share the link and welcome to the family. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. Some deep earth earthquakes here kind of ping-ponging across our planet from South America to Indonesia. About a 200-kilometer depth. Yesterday was the deepest earthquake, 570-kilometer depth. But these earthquakes, uh, as Azerbaijan, yeah, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan. There we go, 5.1 magnitude there. And as well, I ran with a 4.8 Lots of activity still through Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, 5.6 earthquake. That's the largest the last 24 hours still. But I wanted to give you an update before stuff really starts to hit the fan here. Alaska, 4.9 earthquake. Quiet across the northern hemisphere. Quiet through Central America and South America right now. USGS is only reporting 168 earthquakes but Tofino reporting a 4.3 off the coast of British Columbia. No major swarms to talk about. A little bit concerning with those deep earthquakes pinging across the planet in antipode to each other. This is a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. And most times during space weather events like this extreme geomagnetic event that we're going through right now, we will see an increase in seismicity around the world. So I wanted to give you an update as to what it looks like before and what it will look like in a couple days after these residual effects from the solar storms. Speaking of which, let's have a look at our upper level winds on our planet right now, depicting our south polar vortex and this also depicts where our magnetic north and south is and our magnetic currents around the world that drive our weather and atmosphere. Much love to you all. I thank you all for subscribing to the channel. Welcome all of the new followers. Passing over to 76,000 followers. Stay aware and prepared. A lot of information coming out of daily events worldwide. 
for now seven years I've been broadcasting and a lot of things that I've been talking about and people have called me a conspiracy theorist for are now coming to fruition. Having a look here at the UV index across the Pacific Ocean right now as it is at 14 extreme UV index. We'll put this back just to yesterday. You can see what it was like over North and South America and over the Atlantic. Again, much love, everybody, and thank you for subscribing. Please don't forget to smack the like. And if you enjoy this information and you think anybody else would, share it with a friend. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.